Welcome in everyone to more spooky, fun time, visual novel, murder, mystery, fun times in Hinamazawa. <laughs> Let's go. Going to start in chapter 9. There was no way I'd be able to sleep. When she hung up the phone like that, I realized for the first time what kind of situation I was in, as well as who the only ally who would support me was. I waited with bated breath for Xion to calm down and call me back. What would I do if the phone rang while I was sound asleep? Bro, to wake you up, just get up and grab it. No matter how long I waited, however, it never rang. Exhausted, whenever my mind started to wander, I would jolt awake as though I heard the phone ring. In the end, I brought the cordless phone with me into my futon and went to sleep with it in my arms. <laughs> Bro, he's he's on the struggle bus right now, man. Ah, oh, I feel so bad for him. Though it still didn't amount to anything. Morning came, and by that time, I was pretty sure she wasn't calling back. That was when a fierce drowsiness assailed me. <laughs> I slapped myself in the face a few times. I love how much he always, like, hypes himself up and, like, says his full name when he hypes himself up. It's pretty cool. I like it. Then I went to the washroom and washed my face, which was something I usually didn't do. Why not, dude? Do that in the mornings. That wasn't enough either, so I even brushed my... Don't don't tell me you don't brush your teeth every day, bro. You know what? I'm not even going to ask questions. We're just going to just gonna keep going. <laughs> After that, I was finally wide awake. When Mom saw how strange I was acting, her eyes went wide. What Keiichi? Did, did his mom forget it was a school day? I don't even, you know, I don't even know anymore, man. That family's weird. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I know that was a glitch, but it scared me. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I say it work a lot. <laughs> Felt utterly shattered, and I still haven't picked myself back up this morning. And for precisely that reason, Rena's honest smile was a sight for sore eyes. Aww. You look so down, dude. Even like the voice acting was just spot on there. She just sounds so out of it and just sad. Mian had gone home early yesterday with a hangover, but she didn't look too good this morning either. Her usual cheerfulness was completely buried in shadow. Ugh, oh, that's worse feeling. To be fair, who hasn't done that? <laughs> I haven't done that for a while. Yeah, see, Keiichi's even like, yeah. I joked, trying to shake off my sleepiness. I was trying to be considerate. However, neither Mion nor Rena smiled. In fact, they didn't even pay attention. Rena's expression immediately darkened. Oh, that's, yeah, that's right. The mayor's been missing still. Hmm. Yeah, Keiichi's not in the loop, even though he got that phone call from his daughter. Even the classroom, which was normally bursting with bright, joking voices, seemed filled with a different sort of murmur today. Oh. Satsuko, why, why you gotta come in here and do this, bro? This gotta be a trap. This is a trap of some sort. ボケて徘徊してるだけじゃないのか。村長さんはボケてなんかいませんですわ。お習字も教えるし、剣道も教える。発達な方でございますの。That sounds cool. I want to learn how to do a sword. 僕と同じで、きっとどこかで迷子なのですよ。Where'd you get lost, bro? ま、迷子いいね。はあ、お持ち帰り。I guarantee you in the future Ren's just going to get arrested for kidnapping. Like it's going to happen. Gang loss is only cute because children like Reachan did it. Do it. A worn out old man gang lost isn't Moe in the slightest. Uh, says you. Psh. While my mind entered dumb thoughts like that, our teacher arrived. Everyone rushed to their seats. Good morning. The class green was normal, but the atmosphere in the room was heavy. Oh, 
皆さんの中で昨日村長さんを見た人はいますか One or two hands went up in silence, and they told her about having seen him. None of it seemed to be vital information, however, and everyone began whispering among themselves. Mosh mo, son chow san o mi kake ta hito wa, otana no hito ni oshie te agete kudasai ne. Sore dewa, jugyo o hajime mas. After that, the same old lessons began. Ah,、oh, school day went by quick. The rumors, once quieted, blossomed in flowers again at lunchtime. Oh, it's lunchtime, never mind. I could hear a few different conversations. They were mostly related to the mayor's disappearance. Summing them all up, I came out with this. Yesterday evening, the mayor went to a meeting at the Shrine's Assembly Hall. The meeting ended after the sun had fully set and everyone left. The elder's house was a bit far from the center of Hinamizawa. It was already late and Hinamizawa doesn't have a lot of lights outside. Nobody saw the mayor after the meeting. However, because he would have been hungry, he wouldn't have taken any side trips, he would have gone straight home. However, no matter how long his family waited, he never returned. Some thought there might have been an accident. They left no stone unturned. They searched from the irrigation channels to the water wells and even the rice paddies, but they didn't find him. Of course, there was a limit to how far they could search in the middle of the night. The police were going to wait for daylight, then have the young men of the town help search. But after all that, they still didn't find him. They were apparently even going to go looking in the mountains. Even now, at this moment, the adults were probably all searching for him. The more they searched in vain, and the more time passed, the only thing that came to mind was the curse. The rumors of Anikakushi of the demoning away. Had he become this year's sacrifice to Oishiro Sama's curse, which had recently been occurring every year? That scary possibility, which everybody thought about but nobody could say aloud, was slowly but surely spreading throughout the village. Was he demoned away and offered as a sacrifice to quell Oishiro Sama's anger? My classmates were whispering to each other over other than that. Ah. My classmates were whispering to each other that the curse didn't happen this year, so there shouldn't have been any sacrifices. I, on the other hand, I knew. The curse did happen again this year, and there were two people that died. This may sound strange, but I hadn't exactly thought the Elder would be the one to go missing. My reason was clear. Shion and I should have been a higher priority than him. The four of us were thieves that broke the taboo and set foot into a sacred ritual storehouse. If Tamataki san and Takuna san had suffered mysterious deaths, then it should have been Mai and Shion's turn next. Why would you say that out loud, dude? Why would you say that out loud, man? Why would you do that? <laughs> I laughed painfully to myself. I had yelled at Shion over the phone that I didn't want to end up in such a terrifying situation, but now that someone other than me had disappeared, I could only think that I should have been the first to go. Anigafuchi, the bottomless swamp, said to have been the place where they drowned sacrifices long ago. Just as it ran through my thoughts, the villagers must have also considered the swamp. Maybe police divers were plumbing in deaths, its depths even now. They probably wouldn't find anyone. Not a single missing person had ever been found. They'd always suspected Ani Kafuchi, but not once had they ever turned up a corpse from it. After all, it was a devilish, bottomless swamp from which no one who sinks can ever return. I could hear someone telling their friend that in the classroom. So, y e a h Satoshi san ga inaku natta no. Kyo nen no i m a g o Ah, we get to hear more about Satoshi! Huh? Satoshi? I've heard that name before. He was. Right, he disappeared because of last year's curse. The conversation was happening in the seat next to me, so I could hear it clearly. Satoshi san no toki mo, tashka, konna fu ni murajou de sagashitan ja nakatta ke. Are mo mitskara nakatta ndeo ne. Are te. Kekyuk do natta nda ke. Tashka, oni kakushi ja nakatta ndeo ne. Um, chokin o zenbo oroste, ie de shatta nda te kita yo. How much savings do you have? k i s a t o mita hito ga iru toka i t t e t a m o n Ran away, huh? I wasn't that interested in the reason, which seemed understandable in this case. Everyone else who disappeared had their own reasons, too. Either they were still on the run because they were criminals, or they were a corpse that couldn't be found. It's not like any of them suddenly disappeared in a thin air for no reason. But they disappeared. Someone disappeared whenever the curse took a life, as if by design. They may have had various understandable reasons, but they still disappeared. From that point of view, it really might have been a demoning away this time. The mayor's disappearance was the first such incident without a clear reason behind it. Of course, coming to that realization didn't help to resolve anything. Oh. Could you not show that, like, right in your face? <laughs> Normally, Ren's lunch would have been devoured immediately, but today there was still a ton left. 
That wasn't because Ren's lunch didn't taste good or anything, though. So, so na koto arimasen no yo. Rena san no bento wa kyo mo totte mo bimi deshite yo. Satsuko dips her chopsticks into Ren's bento box and pulls bits of food out one after the other. I am so nervous for all this like up close stuff to happen when it gets spooky and jump scares happen. I'm so nervous and panicking about it. Much, much, much. I'm, I'm hungry. I need to actually eat some. What's a pumpkin croquet? Does she not like pumpkin stuff? Aww. They're so nice to each other. Did Satsuko dislike pumpkin? Regardless, she forced herself to smile and shoved more into her mouth. Munch, 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 munch. Everyone knew. Nobody's lunch tasted very good that today. Satsuko kept shoveling it down, repeating her remark on how good it was. Deep down, she's like, please help me, bro. I need it. <laughs> oh no, that's rude. <laughs> she really, really hated pumpkin, didn't she? That made it all the more touching to see Satsuko's own brand of generosity. Yeah, she's powering through to, you know, make her friend happy. That's nice. I grabbed her head and started stroking it. Aww. Satsuko, in a somewhat exaggerated fashion, was bawling, tears streaming down her face. Vegetable stew actually sounds really good. Ren reached out with her chopsticks, and at last, the usual lunchtime atmosphere began to return. That was only at our desks, however. The dark tales of Oishiro sama's curse, which had recurred for five years in a row, didn't cease. The whole classroom remained stuck in this somber mood. Oishiro sama's curse had happened for five years straight. Everyone had wanted the previous year to be the last. What was Oishiro sama's curse anyway? They were going to build a dam in Hinamizawa. The people building it were bad, so they were cursed. I would admit that much. Still, the dam project was frozen years ago, wasn't it? So why was the curse stubbornly persisting? I hit myself on the cheeks to perk myself back up. Everyone was trying so hard to brighten the mood, I couldn't go straight back to thinking about the curse like that. I forced the grim story out of my head. Driving Oishiro-sama's curse out of my thoughts was actually a good idea. In the end, that meant I would also be driving away the most terrifying thought of all, that I could be the curse's next target. Listen, COVID, man. Gotta wash it for what, like two minutes? I don't know. Not two minutes. A long time. <laughs> Mian had said she was going to wash her hands and left, and she hadn't come back yet. It's gonna, it's gonna get me one of these days, man. It's really gonna get me. Or she's pooping. I smiled wryly and let out a sigh. Wryly? Wryly? I never can pronounce that word right. Today was no good. However much we tried to lighten the mood, things always came back to the mayor. It was just a no good day. Which happens. You know, some days are just bad. I just transferred here recently, so the shock of a curse happening five years running was an unimaginably big one. Maybe I do need to appreciate that. That's so sweet. I see. Mian was in shock too. Someone disappearing at all because of a curse was a very scary thing. If the sacrifice was someone you knew, though, then the shock must be a hundred times worse. Satsuko, as if she'd come to the same conclusion, bit her lower lip and looked downward. That's nice. I don't trust that they're both not here at the same time. 
Now that she mentioned it, there were a lot of old people rubbing their prayer beads in fervent gratitude towards Rikachan during the festival, too. An image of the indulgent elderly came to mind. Had Rikachan discovered a way to get herself be to be pampered like that? Rikachan, she's the last person of her, uh, of her family. <laughs> oh, yeah, alright, happy music. That's good. We got some time. Tell me, man, she's going to jail one day. She's definitely going to jail one day. Ugh. Why are you staring, dude? That's weird. Uh, Ren is handy at times like these. I finally managed a heartfelt laugh. All oh, right, I'm on day duty today, aren't I? I need to go water the flower garden. The garden is right outside the teacher's lounge too, so they can immediately tell if you don't do it right. <laughs> Satsuko looks so fed up. She's just like, bro, just stop. God. What was the? Okay. Oh, oh, she's she's getting uh, strangled. Okay. Yep. Uh, these poor kids, man. Ren was strangling Satsuko. I don't think that counts as yawning. You know, Ren is. I can't say it out loud, but she's a notorious censored, isn't she? Sweat. I'm not even gonna ask, man. Not even gonna ask. Hearing Satsuko make a weird noise like a chicken being strangled was kind of hilarious, and I couldn't help but laugh. At some point, the classroom interrupted into laughter, too. Maybe Ren was doing it on purpose. Even if she wasn't, this nonsense was a welcome sight. Anyway, let's get over to the flowers while I still have time. Slowly and quietly, lest I destroy the room's newfound peace, I left the classroom. The watering can was hanging up outside the kitchen. This building had originally been an all-male forestry service building, so there was apparently nothing so thoughtful as a garden here before. When they decided to have a school share the space, they built one there as a modest gesture of appreciation. But, well, the flower bed it was a little longer than you'd expect. It went all around. Oh, that's nice, actually. It went all over the place. It was so big, one would need to refill the watering can five or six times to get it all done. Wow, that was actually big. I was doing this together with a kid who was also, thankfully, on day duty today. She was in the lowest grade, though, and a full size smaller than even Rikachan. I couldn't make a kid who would struggle just to lift the full watering can and help me with this. If you were placed on day duty with someone who liked this sort of thing, they'd do it all for you, so it'd be cake. Can't you over here being a good guy? Watering can in hand, just as I was about to leave the building, the old man from the forestry office addressed me. Ninja! I guarantee you that's just the teacher's personal garden. It's definitely, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. It's definitely the personal garden of our curry loving teacher, but making students responsible for his upkeep is getting them involved in her personal affairs. I couldn't say that to his face, though, so I gave up and decided to carry out my day duties duty. The sunlight out front was strong. The great chorus of cicadas was strongly underlining how nothing was different today than yesterday. I passed by the classroom, and I don't know how it happened, but Ren and Satsuko were in the middle of a huge melee. <laughs> while I was gone, the kids had arranged all desks in a circle, forming a ring while everyone was cheering them on. What the hell is going on in there? Yeah, that's how it should be. Sure, dude. Sure. Sure, why not? Just, just a fight. Oh, I love it. Once school ended, we would need to return to reality, where talk of the elders' disappearance would once again be all over the place. I wanted everyone to forget about everything and have fun, just like yesterday, if only they were at school. In that sense, Satsuko's whirling elbow and Renan's backwards flying spin kick made for a pleasant sight. <laughs> Even if, as a result, they flipped over my desk. Aw, oh, rip. Ah, that's my pencil box. Rip. Gah, what else that happened today? I need to just, just go with the flow, dude. I set to work, hastily watering everything, wanting nothing more than be done as soon as possible. That should about do it. No sooner had I thought that than I remembered that I had to water a teacher's curry vegetable garden, too. I gave up, filled the can with water again, and headed behind the warehouse. This was a place students didn't like to go. It was always damp here, and you couldn't discard the possibility of slugs and pill bugs being around. So when I ran across her in a place like that, I was surprised. Rika, what, what you, what you up to back here, bro? 
Rick Chan was just standing there like a puppet, devoid of life. I was the only one who was startled here. Rick Chan didn't even seem to react to my appearance. Finally, she noticed me. Her expression was clearly abnormal. She looks pissed. There was red under her eyes, stained with tears and dirt. There were blades of grass stuck in her hair, too, and her clothes looked as though she'd fallen to the ground. Rika Chan said in the brightest voice she could manage as she rubbed her eyes. She didn't look anywhere near normal, though. Oddly specific question. Stop with the zooms in. Rika Chan walked over and clung to me. At first, I thought she was playing a trick on me. Eventually, however, I realized it was so that I wouldn't run from the question she was about to ask. I shuddered. She looked straight into my eyes. Her upturned eyes bore right into me. It was as though they were trying to pull the answer out of my own eyes without actually asking me the question. It was scary, so I averted my eyes from hers. Keiichi? Oh, music went dark. Mm, my body gave a jolt from its very core. Rika-chan, who was clinging to me, might have felt my shiver. A nervous tingle crawled up from my feet, and after going up my back and freezing my entire body, made its way into my brain. My head began to throb. I don't, I don't understand anything. Oh! Mian asked me. Oishi-san asked me. Shion asked me. And now Rika-chan was asking me. We thought nobody knew about what we did last night, but... In fact, everyone knew. They all knew, and they came to ask me. Again and again, until I admitted it. When I thought about it, it was pretty clear the whole thing was out in the open. After all, don't Tamataka-san and Tako-san's death prove it? Keiichi? I... How should I respond? Just be honest, dude. You, 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 you fucked up. It happens. We never should have entered the Forbidden Storehouse, and even though I regretted it so much, was she saying it wasn't enough? However, I had all but decided what I was going to say. Oh. Stop dodging the question, dude. Just sighed with all the others, I evaded the question. Rika Chen stared up at me with innocent eyes. Her eyes were so painful that I had to look away. After a few moments of mutual silence, Rika Chen released me. She said, smiling her usual smile. Then tap, 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 she went running off as if nothing had happened. As she retreated in silence, I could feel her accusing me. Why didn't you just be honest, man? If she didn't hear my voice, then I was going to give up. However, she heard it. Rikchan swiveled around and waited for me to continue. I was the one who had questions now. Still, asking any of them could just be a half-assed way of admitting what I did. Nah, if everyone knows anyway, then I should be able to at least ask this, right? Why is everyone asking me about the night of the festival? That evening, had I done something that wrong? I felt plenty sorry about it, and I only looked anyway. I didn't break anything or steal anything. Really. Still, Tamataka-san and Takano-san, they died so miserably. Since those two had come to such an end, there's obviously no way it would forgive only me. <laughs> Rika-chan acutely uh, tilted her head in confusion and waited for me to say something. If I were to admit what happened that night, though, she might suddenly do a 180 as of flipping a switch. That would make sense. Rika-chan was the Shrine Maiden. She was the least likely to forgive me for breaking that taboo, wasn't she? Upon reflection, wouldn't telling her be more terrifying than telling Mion or Oishi-san? <sighs> Rika-chan could just give up and leave, couldn't she? She didn't. She only, she only, was quietly, quietly waiting for me to say it myself. Say it, Keiichi Mabara. If you really are sorry, then you should say so. 
course, it's normal to hesitate, given the crazy way Tamataki-san and Takuma-san died. A pulping machine called Chaos was grinding up my brain. The juice rang out of it, turned into big droplets of sweat, which began to fall. That's a neat description, actually. Yik-chan suddenly straightened up, trying to pat me on the head. I had nothing to say to that. I lowered my head a little so that Rika-chan's palm could reach it. She patted me, kind of like one with a cat. <laughs> my breath literally stopped. Rikchan, though, wasn't acting in a coercive way at all. Yes, a cat. And Rika Chan knew. She realized I was in fear. I could tell she was desperately trying to choose the right words so that she wouldn't scare me. なので、祭りの夜、猫さんはガマンできなくなって、中に入ってみましたのです。かい。しみ、たくの。いや、オッケー。スクールスポスビタクノさん。オーウェイ、ワズイツポスビミー。なあ、カズユユウェンオーウェ
犬さんも大変なことになってしまうかもしれないのです。I had no idea what Rika Chan was talking about anymore. She had been talking to me under the assumption that I was aware of certain things. So at first, I understood her. Around the middle, though, I stopped understanding anything. Mood. However, one thing I did know was to not worry and to leave it to her. Rika Chan straightened up once again, patted me on the head, and smiled. I was so moved by that reassuring feeling that I couldn't help but start to cry. Oh, <laughs> My dude. Neko san mo. Honto ni chotto shita itazura no tsumori datta nda. Honna koto ni naru nante. Zenzen. Neko san wa okubyo sugi desu. Dakara misetaku nakatta no desu. Rika said, bro, you're too much of a bitch. She was right. It was far too shocking for someone to see based on a little bit of interest alone. That's why they made it so difficult to look in the first place, wasn't it? Rika chan. その猫さんはどうなるんだろう忍び込んだ2匹の猫さんがそのあの晩に I'd heard Tomotaki-san and Takuno-san's deaths were being kept a secret Rikachan might not have known about it 富竹と高野ですか Oh, she knows about it I gave a start at the or I gave a start at the sudden mention of actual names though it's weird to do it my brain though it's weird to do that at this point Oh, okay. My spine froze again. What? 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 Without letting the smile on her face waver at all. Make your mind as clean as a scrub bathtub is a good, uh, good saying. I love that. わ、忘れるって言ったって。リカちゃんは知ってるんだろう。あの二人がどういう死に方を。どんな死に方をしてもそれは。Oh. Rika de uh, my god. There's, there's a lot going on, man. Rika declared this in a flat voice. Nothing to do with me. So forget about it. The girl before me, she was innocent and lovable, and even seemed trustworthy. But she, suddenly she took on another dimension. Don't get involved with their deaths. I'll help you, Keiji. Those two contradictory statements twisted and distorted my image of the girl in front of me. It might have been dangerous to mention Xion's name, but I couldn't stop myself from asking. Rika Chan saw through everything anyway. She knows everything, bro. You just gotta admit it. There was no way I was going to fool her or keep anything from her at this point. So da. Rick Chan appeared to think upon this for a moment. It was hard for me to endure even this momentary silence. Oh, Mion's pearls. I could only mean Mion. I recall being questioned by her yesterday. Keiichi, Aneneko wa totemo kigen ga warui desu. Shibaraku na aida. Not in a good mood. Those words sent a shiver through me. Mian was mad. She was mad that we entered the ritual storehouse. Oh, okay. Just... <laughs> she looks very angry right now. Rikchan ended her sentence with such force that I couldn't say anything in response. Hey, Keiji Mabara, don't disobey Rika chan right now. She's the only one who said she'll help me right now. I'll leave things to her just as she said to. I mean, she even said that the cat should just keep meowing. I'll forget everything, like she said. I'll leave everything to her. I'll forget everything about Takano san and Tamataki san and what I did that night. <sighs> Whenever there's silence like that, man, I, I like hold my breath. It's just oof. Just then we heard a bell, far away, marking the end of our lunch break. Keiichi? 
as if she had noticed how miserable I was, about to leave everything to her and flee the scene. Riku-chan called out to stop me. The misunderstanding dog. She put it in such a cute-sounding way, but the true meaning behind those words was an eerie one. The trickster cat? The flow of blood in my body felt like it completely stopped for a moment. Rikachan had admitted it. The sacrifices of that terrible calamity. She admitted that if they were to happen again, it would be she on her eye. This, I didn't know what was true about the girl standing before me. My suspicion gave way to fear, and nearly began to change into anger. Was she a savior who would protect me? Or a stranger, trying to capture and kill me for the sake of a horrible tradition? I had no idea what was true. Rika-chan bowed so quickly it looked like her head had been pulled downward. Still, she was right. I was cowering. I could distinctly feel my body shaking violently. So when Rika-chan reached her hand out to pat me on the head, I pulled away without thinking. Oh. Aww. Gome. Rika-chan made a very sad face, but I just couldn't bring myself to put out my head for her again. That day, Rika-chan said she wasn't feeling up for club activities, so she suggested we don't bother. There's always vetoes when someone doesn't feel up to it. Ren and the others seemed really disappointed. The big sister cat is not in a good mood. I remembered Rika-chan's words and quietly stole a glance at Mion's expression. If I could forget the way she questioned me yesterday, though, her behavior was the same as it always was. After dinner, without the energy to watch TV, I climbed into the futon in my bedroom and let my head be overtaken by gloomy thoughts. I told Rika-chan anything and everything. She had seemed trustworthy at the time, but had that really been the right choice? The more I looked back on it, the less I understood what Rika-chan was saying. Not only did she know about Takano San and Tomitaka-san's deaths, but she spoke of them as if they were, as if she were a concerned party. After all this time in my futon, I began to tremble fiercely. Had I been lured in by Rika-chan's sweet smile and told her things I shouldn't have? I should have continued to feign ignorance. Nah, that would have been even worse, dude. Gotta admit, when you mess up, I shouldn't have shown her, shown her such a weak side of me. My emotions are a mix of regret and fear, and it colored the darkness of the night with an additional layer of terror. Oh, suddenly a knock. I may have yelped. That's how surprised I was. Oh, this is Pops. Oh. Which one? It was Dad. I reached out for the cordless phone through the gap in my door. That's the important question, man. The older cat or younger cat? I took the receiver and buried myself in my futon again. Ah, uh, I practically jumped out of bed. It was Xion, who I hoped so desperately would call me back last night. Xion! Apologize. Alright, good. I heard what sounded like a deep sigh on the other end. That's nice. Xian's tone still sounded a little angry, but for the moment, she said she'd forgive me. Ah,それについてはどうかんだ。だから、私たちは互いの知っている情報を共有する必要があります。高野さんたちみたいな死に方をしないために。I oh. <laughs> panic click sometimes. I'm like, oh no. Gulp. I force myself to swallow the solid drop of saliva. では、昨日の続きを話します。もう怒らないで聞いてくれますよね。ああ、大丈夫だ。まず、私たちが思っている以上に。Y'all messed up big time. 
Dr. Sen and Tom Takesen's sens miserable ends terrible enough that you could call them a warning. They are more than enough to make me believe that. He's got a... at this point, man. Okay, good. That's what a taboo is. For those who honor it, if one breaks the taboo, no matter how small or innocent their intentions were, they wouldn't be forgiven. All I was doing was waiting in fear, but Chiyan had already thought that far ahead. Given how trustworthy she felt, I became embarrassed over how passive I was being. Alright. <laughs> Creepy times. Well, he hasn't said yet. So, so you I think. As I spoke with Xion, I thought back on today. I had no grounds to say that everything was fine. So don't be by yourself in public. Just a bit angrier than normal. It's like, oh, you have a sister? What? <laughs> それは俺もだよ。死ね。Aside from her asking me about the Naya with Tanagashi, she hadn't seemed too out of the ordinary. At least from my point of view. Her twin sister, though, was saying she was acting weird. Maybe it was such a slight change that a stranger like me wouldn't be able to notice. That's a plus. That was, that was a nice friendly conversation. My turn. That's right. Maybe I should report on, report on oishi san asking me the same question at the library. <laughs> she definitely dipped on him.Oishi-san,かなり強い口調で聞かれたよ。あの晩、高野さんたちと一緒にいなかったか、潮に会わなかったかって、Oishi-san は俺たちが四人一緒にいたところを見ていたようだった。Definitely made more interested. There is no way I could have tricked that sly old fox, Oishi-san. My troubled countenance would have only made him even more certain. なあ、シオン、警察なら行っちゃってもいいんじゃないのか。むしろ俺たちの状況を思えば。Xian didn't answer right away. For a few moments, all I could hear was her breathing as she thought about it. 
ミオに何らかの嫌疑があるなんて言ってたような気がするうん確かにそう言ってた昨日も話しました通りそのザキ家は雛見沢に強い影響力を持っています大石は一連の連続開始事件をそのザキ本家が中心になった村ぐるみの犯行だと疑っていますからそのザキ家が中心になった村ぐるみの犯行 Please don't get angry like you did yesterday and just listen. I hammered that home before I got too upset. You already know how influential they are, man. Hinamizawa no damu toso no toki, leadership o kitai sareta kanu shi ga amari ni hiyori mi datta no de, sono zaki honke ga shubo kaku ni natte ketki shi tan desu. Tatakai no rekishi ni tsui te wa, o nee kara kiite masu yo ne. Ah, Hinamizawa zentai de, ichigan to natte tatakat tan daro. Demo o shitari, saiban ni uttae tari, telebi ni detari. はもっともっと過激なこともたくさん行われたんですそのザキ本家が水面下でさまざまな違法な抵抗活動を行ったと言われてます違法な抵抗活動例えば夜中に建設現場に忍び込み、hey, 機材を壊したり,たしたり建設重機のガソリンタンクに核砂糖を入れたりとか、really、ガソリンタンクに砂糖なんでそんなことを mess up the fuel, dude? 戦争中にフランスの地下組織なんかがやった典型的なゲリラ活動ですよ。砂糖を入れるとエンジンが焦げついて壊れちゃうんですよ。That's, that's pretty bad, though, isn't it? It was destruction of property and nothing less. 建設現場への監視が強化されると、今度は工事の重要な立場にある人間への攻撃に変更されました。Well, they want to make sure their town didn't get destroyed. 例えば工事を認可した役人たちには、さまざまな脅迫が行われました。So、それは、県庁の役人だけでなく、建設庁の偉い役人にまで及んだそうです。聞いた話では、子供の誘拐までやったとか。Oh! Okay! That escalated quickly. 誘拐ええ。建設庁の南沢ダムを担当する偉い人の子供が神隠しにあったんですよ。で、ある日突然、南沢のもっと上流の高津戸の山中で保護されまして、犯行声明はなかったって言われてるんですけど、ダム工事を中止するようにとの脅迫があったのではないかとささやかれています。他にも他にも、埋居にいとまがないほどの脅迫の話があります。それは確かにちょっとやばいな。そんなさなかだったんですよ。第一の事件。現場監督のバラバラ殺人があったのは。その時家が主犯格の男を買収したのではとささやかれてますが。何しろ今日も逃走中ですからね。Such a brutal way to die, man. Oof, when she put it that way, the Sonozaki family definitely seems suspicious. 犯人も口封じで消したんじゃないかって、大石は思ってるみたいです。当然ですね。身内である私ですら。その先本家の暗躍があったのではないかと思ってるくらいですからそれを俺に信じろってミオンのその先本家がそんな悪いことをやってきたと信じろというのか Sounds like it ケイちゃんが信じなくても村人たちは信じてます I'm honestly surprised he doesn't believe most of their、um, like influence and stuff already There, There's a lot to it 自分たちが綺麗な抵抗運動をする陰でそのザキ家が汚い抵抗運動をしてくれた。自分たちの矢面に立って戦ってくれたんだってみんな思ってます。ですから、ちょっとしたダークヒーローとして崇められているんです、ね。ヒーローズ<笑>私が知っているのは本当に一部だけだと思います。例えば、誘拐なんかの特にやばい話は、当主のバッチャーを含め、ほんの数人しか知らされてないと思います。そのザキ家は秘密主義ですから。秘密主義か。ファミリー、そう、アンフォーツカミング、イヴン・シアン、ウォーズ・リレッツ・ダム、ドゥズ・ノー・エヴィティング・バッドム。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・シアン、ウォーズ・トゥン・ミアン、ウォーズ・ディープリー・インフォーズ・ウォーズ・エヴィティング。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・アキファミリー。ウォーズ・年少のお姉でも若い柄の悪いのを何人も知ることができました。で
さまざまな嫌がらせや妨害をやってのけたんです。いや、ミアンドズンプレイアラウンドで。あの、ミオンが。今は何だか、のんびりした雰囲気だから想像もつかないでしょうが、器物破損から脅迫暴行まで一通り
I realize I shouldn't have said that. Here in Hinamizawa, things that happened around this time, when Oishiro-sama's curse would recur, would all be covered up. Ah, Jitsana, Yube Kaigo no ato, Ie ni kaette konai toka de, Hinamizawa-ju de osagi ni natta nda. Muraju de sagashita mitai da kedo, Mada mitzukatta te hanashi wa kikanai na. Kaisatsu mo sagashite ru hazu nanda kedo. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> that scared me so much, man. <laughs> you got, like, so focused on conversation. Having a screen shake like that freaks me out, dude. She shouted angrily at me, bringing all her emotion to bear. The receiver was silent. Oh, she's pissed, dude. Did Xion get mad again and hang up? Oh. Oh, she crying now. Oh. Chian's tiny, confused voice sounded like it belonged to a different person than the one yelling a few seconds ago. Chian hesitated for a long while, but then she confessed. To hide what? Xi'an still hesitated for a few moments. Then in a resigned voice, she continued. Oh, shit. Xi'an seemed to think I would yell at her right after she said that, so I heard her catching her breath. Contrary to what she thought, I was a little relieved. She had done the same thing I had when I confessed everything to Rikichan. So in as gentle as voice as I could, so as not to set her off, I responded. So he took care of both of them. That's that's nice. Xion felt the same pain as the rest of us from the mayor's disappearance. She had a different kind of strength from Mion, and as she continued, her voice sounded truly sad and pained. Yeah. I don't know, man. Did any of these people who disappear, are they still alive? Who knows? Even I said it myself, I didn't think we'd ever find the missing mayor again. We probably wouldn't even figure out if he was alive or dead. Xion must have been thinking the same thing. あの、そして、にっこり笑って。シオンちゃんがちゃんと反省してるなら、鬼隠しになんかなるものかって、本当に笑いながら任せなさい。So <笑> Basically, he had the same response to Xion that Rika did to Gechi. So, Rika's probably in trouble. But even though she's like, I don't know, man. There's a lot going on here. Until Xion stopped sobbing, I was unable to find any words for her. I couldn't imagine what kind of person the mayor was, nor what Xion's re relationship with him was like. Words of comfort, however, mean so much to us when we're about to be crushed by anxiety. Mood, that is truth. Today, Rika-chan taught me that, too. If someone who gave me such a sense of security were to disappear, then I can guess what kind of shock Xion was in. They're just straight murdering everybody. When would you have time to do that? He was in a meeting all night. That's sus. He found out. 
So he became involved. Oh. This music's intense. Kenshi's gotta be panicking right now, like inside, because he, he did the same thing with Rika. なんだって人思いに殺さないで親しい人たちから順々に殺していって散々から強い思いに殺さないで殺す。そういう狙いに違いないんです。That my words came out as a scream as if I were shouting them at myself. I gotta say, though, Xion's voice actress right now is kicking ass. Oh no, the music stopped. Mm. Okay, the music's back. Oh. She repeated the same thing as before, as though she were in a delirium. Despite my trying to console the crazy Xion, for some reason the shadow at my feet began to freeze. From that shadow, a cold arm reached out, so cold it seemed like it would freeze even my heart just by touching me, and grab my ankle. The heat generated by my body, the arm was absorbing it. It was a horrible chill. A freezing cold, numbingly frigid. It was an inviolable, invi inviolable chill of fear. Though I sympathized with Xion, I had been naive in thinking it was something only she had to worry about. In my head, Xion's eerie words repeated again and again. He was killed because I told him. He was killed because he found out. I confessed everything, so he was killed. Those words echoed through my head like a monotone mantra, and finally those even rep repetitions took on meaning. The quiet shaking that had already overtaken me turned into a violent shiver that shot up my spine. He finally, finally registered.打ち上げたんだ。リカちゃんに今日。リカちゃんって。リカ様のことですか?フルで神社のリカちゃま?そうだよ。リカちゃんだよ。俺もどうしようもなく不安で。打ち上げたんだ。リカちゃんに。そう
During the Day of Wars a few years ago, the Kimiyoshi family served as the chair of the opposition alliance. This was in name only. In actuality, the Sanzaki family reigned as leader behind the scenes. People whisper that perhaps the Kimiyoshi family dictated acts of opposition that could be publicized, and the Sanzaki family enacted those which could not. Even in Hinamazawa, they whisper that the multitude of unsettling incidents reported during the dam protest, such as the kidnapping of the famous head of the Ministry of Construction's son, had been carried out by the Sonazakis. Additionally, they say that perhaps the Sonazaki family's secret maneuvering was responsible for the serial freak death incidents that have continuously occurred in recent years as well. The serial freak death incidents are without a doubt the second coming of the traditional Watanagashi. They must be enacting the Watanagashi on the day of the original Watanagashi, which has fallen to the level of an ordinary village festival in order to remind the villagers of the holy laws of Onigafuchi village. It's safe to assert that exploring the Sonazaki family is the fastest route for re researching it today. If I can expose the contents of the Furute Shrine storehouse, I'd like to narrow my research target to the Sonazaki family next. The Sonazaki house is strictly guarded by security cameras on the premises, but thankfully I've become acquainted with the sisters Mion, the next heir, and Shion. I want this to be a breakthrough I connect to my next line of research. Takuna was in depth with her notes, dude. Oh, it's not the fast part. Uh, it's... So there's usually like one. So there's usually like one part with the cops talking. The man, red faced, waved his hand to say that he'd had enough and disappeared into brilliant neon lights in front of the station. <laughs> His laugh is great. さて、それはわからないですけどね。真偽は Though we have been suppressing the information, Tamataki and Takano's deaths were already known throughout Hinamazawa. All of the rumors pointed to them having incurred the wrath of Oishiro-sama for setting foot in the Forbidden Temple, the storehouse for ritual implements. According to the rumors, there were two other people who went in there with them, Shion Sanazaki and Keiji Maibara. People are whispering in the shadows that those two would be cursed by Oishiro-sama as well. Apparently, however, the responsibility didn't fall solely on the four trespassers' shoulders. Until last year, it was locked up tight, but this year it had been changed to a simpler lock. Hadn't that been what allowed thieves to enter so easily? Those were the rumors going around. Kuma <laughs> This year it was a very simple and cheap padlock. The lone girl protecting the shrine, Rika Furude, disliked the heavy locks and consulted with the mayor, who would replace it with a simpler padlock. Mm. Mm. Uh -oh. Damn, that's a whole nother level to it. Are they gonna go? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so it seems like the next chapter it's gonna be like Keichi and the police force checking up on Rika. We're, uh, we're definitely definitely in the spooky endgame portion of this chapter, which I'm excited for. So that's actually a really, really good spot to end this chapter. Because it gives us some build-up for the next one and excitement to see what the hell is going to happen at the start. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all being on this journey with me. And hey, if you don't already, you know, hit that subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. And this way you can, you know, get notified whenever I post new videos and stuff like that. And I just love to have you around in the community and everything. It's very fun. But until next time, you guys, just be good people. Bye.